Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we have two areas. We've been watching these all week long. We have that tropical depression number 12. You can see dry air, wind shear. That's really been the story with that system. So really not going to see anything happen with that. But now we're really focusing in on the Caribbean. This has now been designated as potential tropical cyclone number 13. Yeah, that big long name that we, we talk about with these systems when they're not quite at that level where they are a well-defined center of circulation and a either a tropical depression or a tropical storm. But just because of the proximity of land and the threat that they pose, the Hurricane Center goes ahead and starts issuing advisories on these systems. So this is that one out in well out into the Atlantic uh, tropical depression. Number 12 top winds are only at 35 miles an hour. You can see how everything's just being basically sheared right off of this system somehow. Uh, this is uh, hanging on, has a, still a center of circulation, but it's just a matter of time before this basically just dissipates out over open waters. No concern whatsoever. So here we are down into the Caribbean. A lot of convection with this. In fact, uh, the center of this really kind of hard to figure out exactly where it is. Hurricane Center placing it right there, but they even note in their discussion, uh, there's a, maybe even a better circulation to the south uh, over land with this, but at any rate, what's going to happen with this over the next few days is it will continue to work its way on towards the west. It's currently moving to the west at 15 miles an hour. It's going to bring a lot of heavy rain, some flooding rain, some possibility of some flash flooding across portions of South America as we go through the next couple of days. And then it starts to work its way over into so open waters. Remember, across the Caribbean, we've got that low wind shear. We've got plenty of warm water, so really all the conditions are in place that we're, we are going to see an intensifying system as we go through the next few days. So there you see it, maybe even as early as tomorrow. We are talking about tropical storm Julia, and then it will work its way onto the west. If we don't see it by tomorrow morning, we'll quite likely see it by Friday afternoon into the evening or over the weekend. We're, we're basically we're talking about an intensifying system, and it'll intensify. Uh, fairly quickly as we go through the next couple of days. And then you notice by Sunday, uh, quite likely we are talking about Hurricane Julia. If not prior to that, then the big question becomes how strong is this? Because uh, all the computer models are really latching on to a pretty good idea of this westward track. A lot of good consensus on it, basically working its way right towards Nicaragua, a track very similar to what you're seeing right here. What we're seeing is maybe the difference of how strong it's going to be because we do have some models ramping this intensity up a bit more 85, 90, 95 miles an hour. So we got to watch for that potential of this really ramping up in intensity as we go through the weekend prior to making landfall. And then you've got the wind, you have the heavy rain, and then it will weaken over Central America. But that will obviously be the concern that we watch over the next several days. Here's the computer models. And you can see already how how well that consensus is. And the reason why this one is a lot more straightforward than what we saw with Ian. Ian, we were talking about very weak steering currents. We're talking about a system working its way to the north and then that turn. So anytime you have weak steering currents and you have turns with these systems and then kind of paralleling the coastline of Florida really sets the stage for a lot of different variables to come into play in those little changes one way or the other can really affect exactly where it's going and, and cause some larger airs. Well, when you have basically all your steering currents locked in and it is basically just trucking right on towards the west, you're going to see less and less air as far as that track forecast. And what you really start to focus on is the impacts, the storm surge, and also the winds that will be associated with this. So you, know, you watch the Fox model as we go through uh, the next few days here, there it is working its way on that westerly direction, becoming a hurricane prior to making landfall. And you look at some of the various computer models. And again, what we're looking at is basically a system up to about 80, 85, maybe 90 miles an hour. Here is the Fox model showing those very strong winds working their way on shore as we go through Sunday afternoon. We will keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.